Hey guys, it's Kyra here with another Diablo Mortal video. In this video, I want to talk about Paragon 80 on how it's a massive boost for your character and how to best prepare for that. So this tip has been going around a lot and I want to discuss it. So since the server Paragon is at 72 at the time of recording this, most people are in Hell 2. And as you can see here in the difficulty settings, that the equipment drops for Paragon levels 30 to 130. But then if you look at Hell 3, it drops 80 to 210. So the tip that people say is you set the difficulty early and then acquire gear early, which I have totally done. So as you can see here, I have a ton of gear just sitting in my vault ready to go. Once I hit 80, I'll be able to equip this, get a massive boost. That's all cool and all. This is, in my opinion, not a good tip for the majority of players. And the reason why I say that is because it's just it just feels really out of touch based on how the game works on difficulty. So if you look here, you click this, it tells you the combat rating. So to go to this section, you got to be uh, 2120 combat rating if you're below the combat rating you are significantly weaker and if you're above the combat rating you're slightly stronger so it's a big punishment to be under the combat rating of a particular section so by now most people are well above the combat rating of hell 2 so they can easily do this content and they can easily get drops from here uh also keep in mind that the experience does not change from hell 2 to hell 3 and so that's another thing to keep in mind when it if you're considering going to hell 3 that if it's way more difficult for you and you're doing that just know that you would get the same amount of experience staying in hell 2. what people are saying is you punch up early to do this then you get all the gear so once you hit 80 you get a big boost but for most people you just won't have that combat rating there's only two types of people that would ever have the combat rating one being a spender and two being such a hardcore blaster such a massive player of this game to where you would have to have like triple roll on all of this gear to then maybe maybe have enough combat rating to get there so as you can see here i'm 25 15 but here let's actually do this let's remove all of the pay to win be like a free to play and you'll see just how much worse my combat rating is and you get really carried by the combat rating so now zero residence nothing I go down to 1831. So then I'm well below the cap. I went from well above it to well below it. So yes, you know, I'm being a little disingenuous in the sense that you would have probably some gems. Let's just say I'm 1900. You know, like there's no way free to play. I'm going to get a 200 combat rating boost from gems here. So then let's say I'm only a hundred combat rating down. You know, it's still not going to be good enough to be able to farm this as a pay to win player. I'm easily able to farm this and it's a no-brainer for me to do this. Most people are free to play. And if you're gonna be playing this game, I highly recommend just staying free to play. You wouldn't be able to do this tip. This tip doesn't apply to you unless you play this game so much that your experience rewards are probably like 10% and then enough to give yourself triple rolls everywhere. You would need triple rolls on every single piece here. Also on this side too, to then maybe have enough combat rating to compete on health three. Or you just find a friend to carry you, but that's not fun either. And not like that's not a strategy I could really give you because that's not consistent. You, you're relying on other people. That just seems like a bad tip in that in that situation. Oh, uh, there's also another thing I wanted to mention too that the magic find you get as a pay to win player means that the odds of you getting these triple rolls is a lot higher because magic find in this game increases the chance for monsters to drop higher quality items. It doesn't change how many. Uh, legendaries you actually drop in this game magic finds actually different than all the other diablo games whereas in this game it increases the quality versus in others it increases the quantity that's another thing to keep in mind that people that have spent money have an advantage on so it really reinforces the massive amount of blasting you got to do as a free-to-play player and you have to get lucky to then get triple rolls everywhere to get enough combat rating to be able to even do the thing or pay to win have enough combo rating to easily be able to clear that cap with minimal comparatively amounts of grinding those are really the only two types of people in my opinion that could actually use this tip it's either you spend a decent amount of money or you're playing so much that of course you're able to do it because you now can't gain any experience so all you can potentially do is eke out a little bit of combat rating so then you might as well go to hell three at that stage and just to kind of reinforce this tip here and let me go to the place just to see how much weaker i am with only 1800 like i'm 300 below here's in the combat rating this is at 1831 with hell three difficulty i'm 289 combat points below the combat rating set for hell three so decreasing all my damage ideal by 71 percent and then increasing all damage i take by 247 percent so 
I go from being able to absolutely destroy the waves to be a, being completely wrecked by them. Then it, it's like trying to farm gear in a challenge rift, it, it, like a, at my level kind of thing. Like I'm pushing challenge rifts, farming gear. It's just not worth it at all. So I wanted to talk about this tip that's been going around. If you're a hardcore blaster, keep it up. This is actually a good tip. If you're just the majority of the player base and also free to play, this is really not going to apply to you, but at least you can know when it does. So if you want to do that, if you want to play this much, then you can at least try it maybe on Hell 4 or something like that. Because since it's so close to the server Paragon at this point, you're probably going to be 80 here soon anyway. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Just wanted to touch on this subject here. And with that, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.